Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. Here is another video in the part of the miscellaneous series. We have started discussion about error solvers and related issues in console simulations. We have already uploaded a few videos on this particular topic and I would like to request you to watch those videos because that will be helpful if you are working with COMSOL for your research or engineering problems. I will put the link in the description box so that you can watch that video directly from here. Today we will be talking about a very simple kind of error rather I can say very common type of error which is known as it will show the error message shows something like this nonlinear solver did not converge maximum number of Newtonian iterations reached. So this is a very common error which we generally come across but when we do not know about this particular error then we could not run the simulation even after changing many things and that is why what I understand is it is it is important to learn about the source of the error if we learn about it then you can modify that particular part of the simulation or the model and then it will resolve my issue. So I always look a particular model from this perspective. So if there is an error I would like to know about the error and then I would like to look for the places where exactly there should be a link between the error and that particular part. So let us discuss it. Uh, with the help of a particle tracing module. So if we discuss then the things will be clear. So initially we will work with a simple force say 0.2 Newton force is acting on this solution space in the positive y direction that means from bottom to the top there is a force acting and by the release node what we have done is we have taken 500 particles and the 500 particles will come randomly at zero time that means at the initial time and then it will experience that 0.2 Newton force in the upward direction. So the particle should follow upward motion because of the force that is there. Now let us run the simulation. So you can see the simulation has already run and because of the time step you can't see the intermediate step so initially the particles were here because of the upward force it goes here we can actually change the time step to show you that the particle is moving so we run up to 1 e minus 3 for 1 millisecond if we run this then I guess you will see the intermediate step. The particle is initially here it is going upward by the application of the force. Now what if we let me make the time now 0 0.1 and 1 as the default one. Now suppose I want to work with a complicated kind of force because in real life problem the force could be complicated and we need to put that complicated equation in our simulation in our model. Suppose the force is like this which is varying with a tangent function and having a constant magnitude having a magnitude 0 0.001 into tan of this particular function and this particular function is if I just show you if you look here it is tan pi y by L where L is the length of this particular square or the length of this solution space. So what we can understand is as we move upward in the y direction there would be some change in the force field and that change is coming from this tangent values tangent of pi y by L and that is multiplied by a constant quantity which is 0.001 Newton. So you can also change it say 0.01 Newton. Now I try to run the simulation. Let's see what happens. So I come across this error. So what, what the error I was talking about 
in this particular case you see this error is coming that is non-linear solver did not converge maximum number of newtonian iterations reach first of all there are newtonian iterations going on that means that means the solution methodology or the solver is iterative solver because in iterative solver itself you have an option of putting maximum number of iterations so where i mean here it is 100 now and the solver is this g m r e s i have promised that i will talk about all the solvers i'm working on it i'll talk about all the solvers in the upcoming videos and learning about that will help to know about the background algorithm what's going on in the background of comsol that we will be knowing after we learn about those solvers okay coming to today's topic so this is iterative solver and we have a number of iterations 100 so this uh, error is something like this maximum number of newtonian iterations reach even the solution has not converged so we may feel like if we increase the what happens if we increase the number of iterations so i have made it one then five zeros so let's see i'm running the simulation so again the same issue the maximum number of newtonian iterations reach then what do we do we keep on increasing the number so let us put two more zeros and then run the simulation again the same error so what we do then we become frustrated and we started putting zeros here say you put another two zeros you see still the same value so what i feel is like maximum number of newtonians iterations reach so i am changing the number of iterations i am putting more zeros and zeros still the same value that means if you even change the number of iterations to a high number then it will not solve your issue because there is some issue related to the boundary condition not to the maximum number of iterations we are putting here so let us now see the force so you can see the force has a tangent function and we know the tangent function is not a continuous function so if you just remember the values of a tangent so tan 0 is 0 tan 45 degree is 1 and tan 90 degree is infinite because tan 90 degree is equal to sin 90 degree by cos 90 degree and cos 90 degree is 0 so it is something by 0 or 1 by 0 so this is infinite so what is happening here let us look at the function it is pi y over l so when your y is equal to 0 0.05 here that is the middle and your l is 0 0.1 so 0 0.05 by 0 0.1 it will be half so the value will become pi by 2 so at position 0 0.05 the value will be your pi by 2 so the tangent of pi by 2 becomes infinite so when it tries to calculate the force at 0 0.05 position then it fails to calculate the force and that is why it is getting an infinite number or a large number that is going into the Jacobian matrix and that's why it could not solve it could not proceed further and that is what is happening and many times we come across those boundary conditions and we put those boundary conditions and then we uh, i mean this kind of errors keep coming so whenever you have issue with this maximum number of newtonian iterations then again look back to your boundary conditions initial conditions and always look whether there is any discontinuity in the function or not sometimes there are not discontinuities but the difference between the, i mean there is a sharp change in the function that may also lead to this kind of errors so always you should look at the 
boundary conditions you should try to plot it in some other software like excel or uh, any software you may use and look at the graph how is it changing if it is not changing smoothly then it may create problem in your simulation so i hope the video was informative if it is so i would like to request you to subscribe to our channel share our video so that we get more motivation to upload videos thank you